Welcome to Clear Creek TV. I'm Ty Bybee. And I'm Mike Bybee. On this episode, we are going to be on a mule deer hunt using black powder rifles. It's going to be in the latter part of September. Yep. And there are a lot of nice mule deer we see. Yeah, on this episode, we have Cameron out with us, one of our clients. Another great hunt. Yeah. Tons of bucks. He, he got a really nice buck. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He uh, was able to, to, to choose out of several different ones that were pretty nice, I'll tell yep. you that. Yep. Just like all the hunts, we, we passed up a lot of bucks to, to get a really good buck. Yeah. So we hope you enjoy this episode. With Clear Creek Hunting, we are always planning to be successful on our hunt. So on this hunt, let's take a look at what we have in our pack for success. I think, Ty, the number one thing that we both can agree on that gets us to where we need to be and helps us find big game is optics. Yeah, definitely. A good pair of optics is the number one thing, especially while hunting out in the west. Oh, we're not looking 100, 200 yards. We're looking out there sometimes 500 to a mile or two miles and, and looking for animals. What we have is the GPO optics. These have been excellent. This is a 12 and a half by 50, and I have been so impressed with the quality of these optics in, uh, in every light condition. We've been in snow, rain, everything else. What do you think? Yeah. Picking up light is is obvious. I mean, we're out on hunts where we're trying to move on it on some elk. Well, it's still you know dark in the morning, and yeah. we can you know we can see the elk out there, and and the people with us just the quality of their glass is just not there. That's the other part about it is the glass, the clarity on them is just unbelievable. It's super yeah, we, good. We all love the GPO the optics. GPO, and they're lightweight, they're, they're good enough. And the 12 and a half power does give us just about right what we need to be out here. Yep. The next thing as far as attaching and, and carrying these, we have the Rick Young Outdoors Bino Harness. Very easy to do, very easy to adjust. Just uh, pick it up, slide your arms in there, put it over the top, and there you go. Yep, and the one adjustment on the back makes it easy to take them up or down no matter what, what you're doing out in the field. Yep, what do you got next? Another big thing is we always have our knives with us because we're always planning on being successful. And the biggest thing with that is having our speedy sharp knife sharpener. A lot of knife sharpeners out there can get really big and bulky. With the speedy sharp, it fits in your pack, you can put it in your pocket, whatever you need to do. Couple just easy strokes on your blade and, and you're ready to go. Makes it nice, especially with the elk we do. Oh yeah, you're always especially sharpening with the elk. Multiple times. Yep. This has been an awesome new one, new product that we found. Tell them about that one, Ty. The Spot and Shot, it's a multi-universal tripod adapter, so you can slide in and out your gun rest, put on your spotting scope, your video camera, and then once you spot that game, you're ready to harvest. Get your gun rest on there and you can make a good steady shot. Yeah. And on a lot of our hunts, you can see we're out in the open, a lot of sagebrush, where you get down on bipods, it, you're just too low to the ground. Mm -hmm. You can, I mean, we have a lot of times where you have to shoot standing Stand, up, you, you just to, can't yeah. see, and, and we've made some great shots with the spot and shot standing up, so we've been, we all love that. Yeah. And that's it on our episode for Pack for Success. And with Clerk of Cunning, we want you to always experience the hunt. Hey Cameron, that buck we just seen was down off this side here when we last spotted him. We figured he was going to come up on this flat here, so let's just work our way around. He's probably going to feed right up this draw and see if we can get close to him. Okay. Looked like a good buck.
right there. There's a bunch of deer right there. Let's get down right here. Okay, there's a bunch of deer. Ooh, there's a there's there's one good buck. I'll oh, see the one right in front of him. Yeah, I see him. He's right by the does, right when he he's about a hundred yards. When he clears, just just take him there. Okay. Oh, you drilled him. You drilled him. There he goes. Oh, you hit him hard. I can just see the tips of his horns. It looks like he just, oh, he just flipped backwards, I think. Holy crap, that's a big buck. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's an awesome deer. I can't believe he's that big. The last time I see him is in velvet. Man, that's a big deer. Holy cow. Let's go up there and take a look at him. That's a big deer. He just went down right off there. I can see he's kind of flipped back and he looks like he just went down. Awesome yeah. deer. There he is right there. Holy crap. He's huge. Look at the cheater on that thing. Oh, he's done for sure. Man, that's a nice buck. Holy cow. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He's done. Yeah, you drilled him. <laughs> Holy crap. Man. Let's take a look at him. Holy moly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> look at the cheating yeah, on that thing. Beautiful he's got, buck. He's got one on that side there that'll... Splits. An inch, splits, and then this one comes off and splits again. Mass. Tons of mass. Cow. Heavy deer. Yeah, he awesome is. Oh. We see him we're down here. We saw another really nice 4 yep. by 5 and then we spotted this one feeding up and we thought, well, if he comes across and comes on the top and he did exactly what we wanted him to. Yep. That's a great buck. There was absolutely deer everywhere. A <laughs> bunch of other bucks in the group. Yeah, that was an awesome job. You made a great shot. He didn't go far at all. No, perfect. it just worked out perfect. Another great deer with Clear Creek hunting. Man, you can come out. This was a muzzleload hunt. Cam made an awesome shot. This muzzle load one shot just drilled him. He maybe went 50 yards yep. at the balls. So that was awesome. Great sneak, great shot. Flipped over fast. <laughs> now we can get some great pictures of him and get him back to the truck. That's an awesome, awesome job. Yep, thank you. Great job. If you would like more information on the hunts that we offer, call us at Clear Creek Hunting. To keep up to date on what is happening at Clear Creek TV, follow us on Instagram at Creek Clear. Clear Creek TV wants to thank these fine companies. Ask for their products by name at your local sporting goods store. This has been a Clear Creek TV production.